in crypto, bro, I've been in this space. You know, my first, when I first heard about it, my boy told me about Bitcoin. It was $800. And he told me, like, yo, just put a couple thousand in the Bitcoin. And I, like I said, I never heard about it, but he told me to do it. And it was somebody I trusted. And I was like, ah, oh, okay, cool. And I just watched it. I never moved on it. I watched it. And within like two, three months, it was already up to like 1500 then the 3000 And then at that point, I'm like, damn, it's at 1500 It's at 3000 Now it's way too expensive. I still didn't fully understand what it was. I never really fully looked into it like that. I was just watching the price. I'm like, damn, it's already 3000 It's too expensive. So I never jumped on it. I didn't actually buy my first Bitcoin until it was like 8500 which is crazy, right? You know, I wish I would have bought it at eight, eight, at 800 bucks. But during that process from 800 bucks to 8,500, it was a ton of studying that I did, not only on Bitcoin, but in cryptocurrency in general and what it was and why it was created and the problems that it was addressing. So that's why and how I got started. You know, from there, I just went down the rabbit hole, just research years upon years of research. I've been probably in this thing since like 2017. Um, maybe yeah about 17 just years of research and i'm talking about bro i was obsessed and i still am obsessed i just now i know how to do uh my research and i know how, what to look for so i don't have to spend as much time researching um especially with my network and i've created a good reputation in, in these different communities where now i get quality stuff brought to me where i don't have to do as much hunting like i used to uh, so, you know, just because of the years and time that I put in, you know, growing my network, growing my telegram handle in some of these different communities now, you know, it actually cuts down on some of the time that I have to put in on my research. But the research is most important. Um, but yeah, man, just, you know, just my investment mindset. I knew basketball was, was only going to take me so far and I couldn't do it forever. So I wanted to start finding other ways for me to start supplementing my income and, and put money away uh, to grow. And so that's what I started doing in 2017. And uh, I got made some money in that first bull run, um, lost some money into the in the bear market. And now everything is, you know, booming right now. So um, I think that the, that those years of experience uh, and the shortcomings, some of anybody that tells you they're doing something successful, but they don't tell you about the L's they took their damn lie. It's not possible for you to do something uh at a great level without taking no L's. And I can tell you straight straightforward, I took, I've taken six-figure L's, multiple six-figure L's at the beginning of this. And the reason why is because I have an aggressive personality. Like when I know something and I believe in something, I'm gonna go head first into it. And I wouldn't have changed anything. I would have made the same decisions. I just would have done it with a more, um, I wouldn't have thrown six figures at an into individual investment until I knew exactly the timing of the market, timing of this, knowing what I'm looking for. I would have probably just did 10 or 20. Now I'm comfortable throwing, you know, six figures or more at any investment I do because I know and I've analyzed and I know what I'm doing. Um, and it took, like I said, it took a lot of time and I'm talking countless hours. Like I would, I wouldn't sleep. Like when we was together in France, bro, you know me, I wasn't sleeping. I was going to bed at three, four o'clock in the morning, waking up at five, six o'clock in the morning. And I'm doing this all day while I'm at home. We go to practice, come back. I'm on this all day. And I, that was my schedule basically for the last five years, nonstop, all preparing for what's going on right now. And because I put that time and that those years in, now all of my accounts, is, you know, I got multiple seven figure accounts. And I'm just saying that to say that, not because I'm like the smartest person in the world, but I put the time and had the patience to know and to study and to research. You know, want to be in better financial situations. Everybody wants to prove their financial situation, but they don't know how. And for me, this crypto is the best way that anybody can improve their financial situation. Like what's going on with this crypto space, it's, it's, it's one of the biggest shifts of power in human and human humanity really like and people fully still don't understand what's really really happening before their eyes and there's so many people sitting on the sidelines and that's the thing that frustrates me because everybody around me you know a lot of people the people i care about they want to be in better situations and make money but they're not really taking the time of doing the research and i actually am a walking book right now with the amount of time and the hours I put in and the years I put in. It's like I'm giving y'all a game and I'm giving y'all research and people not really understanding and really taking it serious until the, I say, OK, well, let me show you what I'm doing. And I've been showing one of my accounts and like, hold well, well, let me get in. Like I've been talking to you about this for a while. So 
uh, there's a big shift to power right now. Um, and this is just the beginning. I think that uh, anybody that's, you know, investing in the crypto space right now and uh, do the research, grow a network, you know, they can do substantially well for themselves. Uh, I try to help people as much as I can. My time now is limited just because my family, my, I'm, you know, now my my other, you know, career occupation. So I still try to help people as much as I can. Um, but uh, I just, you know, do it just from a pure standpoint. I want to see, you know, good people win. That's it. Some hurdles to get over. And right now, it's a space that's uh, still hasn't been fully regulated. Uh, it hasn't been fully. And they're trying to figure out how to do the regulation. And there's companies, really good companies like Hacking, for example, that are are cybersecurity companies built to make the space better, to make it safe for everyone to interact and invest in safely. You know, right now, especially in the heart of a bull market, there's so many different ploys and plots and scams uh, that go on on the Internet. I'm sure everyone's seen the Elon Musk tweet. Hey, I'm giving away 500 Bitcoin today. Send me uh, send me point zero five Bitcoin and I will send you one whole Bitcoin back. And so many people, thousands of people get scammed out like that's never that's the oldest trick in a book. Like, hey, send me to Ethereum. I'm going to send you 10 back. So many people get scammed out of that. Um, and it's just so many other different things that being in this space for so long that I see. Uh, so I tell people to be very cautious of that. But, you know, the hacking app uh, is a all in one cybersecurity suite. Uh, not only does it have uh, different security measures that it teaches you to look for and it actually teaches you in a fun, interactive gaming way, but also quizzes you at the end of each section uh, so that you can start to be more aware of what you can do, how you can create stronger passcodes, how you can be safe when you're on different websites, how you can protect your backup keys, how you can do this or that. It has like an interactive cybersecurity school, uh, takes about 30, 40 minutes, basic information and stuff, but I think it would make... Um, it would make things so much better for each person going through though. You know, it takes, like I said, 30, 45 minutes to do it, but it's so worth it. But then also within that cybersecurity suite, there's VPN blockers, which actually, you know, helps, you know, um, d block uh, your online activity, which obviously with tracking and hacking, uh, that's important. You know, there's password uh, managers that you can, you know, safely store your passcode manager in a cybersecurity suite and not on the cloud, not in Google Drive and all the stuff, because obviously those things get hacked all the time. So if you have your backup passcodes on Google Drive that just got hacked now, it just got on the black market. Now all your confidential information is uh, on the black market. Um, it also has a black market monitor, a dark web monitor that tells you if your email or some of your social passcodes have been breached before. So it's a lot of different security features in there that can help keep everyone safe. So that's why I would advise everyone to download that, do the 45 minute school, do those modules, um, and then start using some of those products. It's completely free right now. Some as now, now they're starting to roll out their subscription plan. It'll be basic pricing, just like any other, um, pricing $100 per year or something like this, which is more than worth it. If you've got thousands of dollars you're investing into the crypto space and you're doing different interactions online, that $100 a year to keep you safe is worth it. It's, 